Children with learning disabilities are one of the most marginalized section of society when it comes to receiving education. But one man's personal experience has now started benefiting many children and his organization is now a beacon of hope for numerous parents who want to fulfill the basic education needs of their children. Our nominees have done outstanding work in the field of education. But the winner, Manipur's Pozagin Tonzing's pioneering work impressed the jury the most. Let's find out more. Elvis and Kay are twins with a hearing impairment. Before a customized program helped them, they were neither able to pursue school education, nor were they able to socialize within the community. It is a similar story with many children with disabilities who are now being served by Pozagin Tonzing's organization, Center for Community Initiative, which was born out of necessity. I, we were blessed with a son in 2005. He was born with uh, optic nerve atrophy. Optic nerve atrophy means he's, he, he cannot see it. And his case is irreversible. That means it cannot be cured with medicine. So the only option we have is for his uh, rehabilitation services. Drawing from his own son's struggle with learning, Pozagin met a number of parents whose children were born with disabilities and soon formed an organization where these children could freely move around and be educated through special techniques. Organization, they are ready to accept our children with disability in the society. Then say here, church, many churches, they start building with uh, accessible REM accessibility with, uh, in terms of infrastructure. Then there's one church who even changed their recruitment process. Then many schools are start accepting children with disability, not only in special school, in the mainstream schools, which has never happened before. The Center for Community Initiative landmark step was to start a school named the Malsom Initiative or TMI. The school catered to children with special needs with trained practitioners using special techniques. It soon became a blessing for many parents who were searching for the right guidance. Parents like Weifel were true testimonies of a job being well done at TMI, were travelled and now the school has successfully enrolled and educated 44 children with special needs. Therapy services at the school have benefited 59 individuals, while early intervention programs have been of service to 55 children. If you give these children your time and observe them closely enough, then you'll get to witness that they are not different at all. They are just like anybody else. The only thing is you have to give them time, uh, a, lot of, a lot of patience, and then you'll get to witness that they are no, no different from any other child or any one of us. Buoyed by the success, Pozagin wants to replicate the Center for Community Initiative in other Northeast states of India. He wants to overcome the main challenges of enough trained practitioners, funds and community acceptance to expand his school's network in other parts of India. The staffs are working not just not for money, but to make change life of children who are with a disability and with their own services. 
they have uh, they could change their life. So that commitment made them self here, not in terms of uh, monetary. So these two challenges are if we could overcome these two challenges, our vision of having higher secondary school, our dream of having a training center or expanding our services in other part will be possible. It has been a remarkable journey for Pozagin Tonzing and the Times Now Amazing Indians Awards 2024. For he can accelerate the pace and scale of growth for the Center for Community Initiative. So this was a spotlight on individuals common by appearance but uncommon by their deeds. Our next episode will feature three more category winners who have blazed an impressive trail with their resilient spirit of service. Until next time, it's goodbye.